Hi, it's Phil from Teach Blend, and in this video I'm going to show you how to access Microsoft Teams on a PlayStation. Now the video is going to look at PlayStation form, but if you have got an Xbox, it does also work on there in a very similar way. Um, I hope you find this video useful, because obviously it does offer some benefits if, for example, you haven't got an extra device, or your parents or family, etc. are using your devices, or simply you haven't you know, got a device other than a PlayStation um, or games console, this may help you access some online learning. So I do hope you find it useful. And if you do, please remember to like and subscribe to Teach Blend. In this example, we're going to use a PlayStation 4, but if you are using an Xbox, you pretty much follow exactly the same options, but what you'll need to do is load up Microsoft Edge. If you're using a PS5, unfortunately, this won't work at the moment. So here you'll see what I'm in is I'm on my PlayStation and what I can do is navigate to my applications folder or whatever folder I have put in the internet browser. When I click on this, what this will do is then open up a regular web browser and then what I need to do is write in office.com into the search bar. You can press triangle to access this. Here then I can click on Office 365 and using my college username and password, I can log into this account. When you then click on the waffle menu, you'll be able to access all of the relevant files and resources that you're used to using in college or school, such as Microsoft Word for your files and working on documents, and OneDrive for your file storage, and PowerPoint for presentations. Here you're going to see I'm going to click on Microsoft Word, and because this is in the cloud, I can access Microsoft Word on my PlayStation, and then using a keyboard and mouse that I can plug into the USB ports, I can then complete work. Now the beauty of this is it saves automatically in 365. I can also click the options menu to various things such as refresh and bookmark and close off the window. I'm going to click apps again and this time I'm going to open up Microsoft Teams which will be your main learning platform. And in here you can do everything you can do in the regular version of Teams. So for example, I'm going to click activity to look at my feed. I can click on chat and actually communicate with my various other students and staff members and teachers, etc. to access help and resources. I can also click on Teams to access my main classroom and team. And in here, all of my teams will be listed and I can use either the controller or my mouse and keyboard connected to the console to access these resources and use them. So here you can see, look, I'm opening up a test class and that will have all of my various work and resources my teacher has set me. I can also press square and after a quick flash, this will make the screen full screen so you've got more of your actual monitor on display. You can also click on assignments and in here you'll be able to access your assignments and work on them all via Office 365 and the web versions. And I can even click on calendar to join my various meetings um, and online sessions and use an internal microphone or a connected microphone to communicate. Again, I can click on files to access all of my resources inside of OneDrive. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend. I understand that accessing on consoles is not absolutely perfect, but hopefully it'll get you by. Good luck with your studies and stay safe.